Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to another SketchUp cooking class. This is the third part of the exercise number two. In this part here, I would like us to work on creating the dormer. Now, the dormer in size is approximately six, or say four foot by six foot with uh, one foot overhang on the sides of it. So first thing we need to do is uh, it's going to be very difficult to get it placed in the roof. So we have this one um, construction line here. I'm going to add a couple of more construction lines. So I just grab here and come across two feet and do the same thing on the other side. Two feet. And this gives us our basic line where the bottom of the dormer should should sit. And it has to line up with our house, of course. So this is why we use this as our construction line. So I'm just going to draw a line across here and across here. And then that gives me the uh, base of our four-foot part of it. Now um, I'm going to do another construction line here, one foot. And again, one foot. And a construction line, I'm going to try to bring this up six feet. So this would be the top of the dormer here. And we need to have a pitched angle here. So the pitched angle should be the same as the roof angle. So to get the uh, roof angle, I'm going to use a construction line again. I'm just going to go from the end point to the midpoint, same on this side, from the end here to the midpoint. And then I can, I'm going to just select, hold down the shift, select, and I'm just going to move this from here to here. Okay, so again, if you want to stop this, go back, review it a little bit, you can. Um, now I have lots of information here to work with. I'm also going to do a move copy and I'm going to bring it down six inches. So I should click on move copy and trying to bring, I'll just come onto this face here. Move copy and it's, is that my blue axis? I think so. Okay, I'm setting it in the blue axis, holding down shift, and then I'm going to come down and then type six. So that gives me basically my outline that I want to follow for my dormer. Now, this is a little bit tricky. You need to really make sure that everything lines up, that you have everything on the same plane. If things are not on the same plane, then this is not going to work, and you're going to have to do a little bit of um, rework. So I'm just going to start by doing a, a draw from here to here, come down to here, go over to here, come down to here. Going to repeat the same on the other side. Come down to here, come down to here, come across to here, and down to here. And when I click this one, uh, you'll notice that it created a face for me. So everything is in pretty good shape at this point. Um, what I want to do now is um, take this face and I'm going to pull it inside the uh, inside of the roof. So with the push pull, I'll just grab this face, pull it inside. Doesn't matter how far you go; it just has to go inside. So now we see how the dormer is actually fitting on here. So what I want to do with this is you'll notice that there's no lines here. So if I just select this by a tri triple click, one, two, three, you'll notice I select everything. Now, this is kind of cool. We haven't done this before, so just listen closely. We're doing an intersect with model. So we right click and we go intersect face with model. And then you'll see what's happened is it has given me the, uh, the lines drawn and everything is pretty good shape here. So now what I want to do with this is I'm going to hide my roof layer and you'll see that this is all the part of the dormer that I don't really need. So just going to erase it. So 
so that I'm just left with this area here. I can put my roof back on if I like. That's fine. So now this part of the house is pretty well set. The dormer is pretty set up nicely. I'm just going to set this up. Draw a line here and to here. And then I want to do a push-pull. And I'm just going to pull this out, say, 12 inches. So that sets up the... Uh, the dormer quite nicely it's looking really good I want to add a window to this now I'm not too too concerned how you do the window if you want to just bring one in that's fine with me I'm just going to use my we don't use the polygon tool very often so I'm going to click on my polygon set for six that's fine I'm just going to click here and drag this out and I can make this uh, oh I think probably say 16 inches and again we don't haven't used the offset tool very much so I'm just going to click using the offset tool click inside and I'm just going to just take it to the just there's good enough click inside and repeat that so what I'm trying to do here is just create a little bit of a window frame so now with this window frame Just zoom in a little bit closer so that we can see what's happening. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, push pull. I'll just pull this one out one inch. And then I'm just going to go to the inside face and just move that in one inch. So that gives us a little bit of shape to it. Um, again, you don't have to use this window. If you want to use one of your own, you can. I'm not really too concerned about that. So now what I'd like to do is maybe discuss a little bit about adding materials. Now we have to be a little bit careful here. Let me just go back. I'm going to uh, get rid of all my construction lines now. I think I'm in pretty good shape as far as these construction lines go. So I can actually just go into um, edit and delete guides and all the guides are gone for me. So it's a very good thing to do. Do not hand in the assignment with guidelines on it. Always make sure you remove them. So I'm going to uh, triple click on this, one, two, three, right click, make a group. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go to my entity info and change this to my dormer. And just to check that the dormer is okay, just click it off and, and then click it back on. And there we go. So that's pretty cool. So now what I want to do is add materials. So again, because this is a because I've set this up as a group, I need to right click, edit group, and now I can click on my materials. Just get rid of these for a little bit. So if I want to, now if I want to go to say my roofing, so I can pick some shakes that I think I might want to use. So I'll click on this one here, click on that side, click on that side. And of course, you're not going to have shakes on the front you're probably going to have some kind of a uh, some kind of a painted side so I'm just going to go to colors and in the colors I'm just going to look for some color that uh, we can work with we're just going to this little lighter brown click on there click on here click on here and I have an underside I could paint I can click on here. Um, I don't know how much of this I can get. I want to try and paint this as well. This is a little bit harder because we got lots of faces here. I think I'll just... Uh, yeah, I'll just work at it. You just have to work on each little surface. It takes a little bit of time, but you can do it. And if you get something like that, don't worry about it because we can fix that. And when we change, when we put a material, we can put a different material on that later. Just trying to get this thing painted up. Again, I'm not worried about the glass. So we'll just put the transparency on that in a second.
Okay, I should paint that under part as well. So for the glass, if I go into translucent, I can find a material that I like to work with. So if I want this to kind of have a little bit of a tinge to it, I don't know if this is the best, but I can, by just creating this, edit this, just try to make it a little bit lighter so that it does have a tinge, but it allows you to see inside. So that's kind of cool. And now I'm going to click on maybe try and find a siding that I want to use. So we've got lots of options here. Um, so I'm just going to click on this here, use this for my siding. So this makes it, sort of completes it off. So once I've done that, I can come out and I'm going to need to look at doing my materials. Again, the same thing's going to happen when we do the materials here. It would probably be better to, uh, if I go in here, click on this color and paint this, this color, then click on this, right click, edit group, and now I can click on my materials for each side that I want to do. Same thing happens when we do the um, the roofs. Again, I suggest we click on this color here. Click on, oops, come out. Click on this color here. Do the roof first. So I'm doing the roof, fascia board, and soffits all at the same time. So now I can go in and edit this. Right click, edit group. And now I can go in and I can add my tiles to this area. Go into this other group, right click, edit group, and add my tiles to that. Click out of it. So this is basically what I need to do. So I can again do the same thing, finish with, use finish with my finishes. I'm not too concerned about what you use for finishes, just as long as you have something that looks okay. So we'll see you on the last tutorial. Thank you very much.